الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ The Prophet ﷺ said, Verily, actions are tied to the intentions. And as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should strive our best to humble ourselves and not desire fame. Not desire fame, especially when it comes to uh, affairs in the religion, like da'wah or in the affair of, you know, showing off with good deeds like giving in charity or being known for being the person the first person in the masjid not that these are undesirable no but rather you should strive not to gain the fame of that that your purpose and intent of being first in the masjid is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your purpose of being given dawah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to please Allah and call people to the worship of Allah alone but not in order to build yourself or your group or your hizb. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al those who avoid great sins and fawahish, meaning illegal sexual, sexual intercourse, except the small faults. Verily, your Lord is of vast forgiveness. He knows you well when he created you from the earth and when you were fetuses in your mother's womb. So ascribe not purity to yourselves he knows best him who fears Allah and keep his duty to him. And Allah the Almighty says, Think not those that those who rejoice in what they have done or brought about and love to be praised for what they have not done. Think not that they are rescued from the torment and for them is a painful torment. And Allah the Almighty says, have you not seen those who claim sanctity for themselves? Nay, but Allah sanctifies whom he pleases. And they will not be dealt with unjustly, even equal to the extent of a fatila, meaning a small thread or the slit of a date stone. Ubad ibn Tamim related from his uncle, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, <clears throat> o Arabs, beware. O Arabs, beware. Indeed, what I fear for you the most is a riya, showing off, and hidden desires. Ibn Athir said, Verily, the hidden desire is to love that the people see your actions. And it has been mentioned about Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that he rebuked a person when he saw that the people were all walking behind him. He said, Stop this. It is a fitna for the one who is being followed and a humiliation for those who follow him. Shu'bah said that Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani said, Thukirtu wa la uhibbu an I mentioned, I mentioned and I do not like to be mentioned. Bishr ibn Harith said, Ma taqullah man ahabba shuhra. Whoever loves fame does not fear Allah. And Shu'bah related, sometimes I would go out with Ayyub for a need, but he would not allow me to walk with him. And he would walk out of this way and that way so that he would not be trialed. Imam Ahmed ta'ala said to his student when he came to know the praise of the people for him, O oh, Abu Bakr, if a person knows himself, then what the people say about him does not benefit him. SubhanAllah. The people praise Abu Bakr as Siddiq, so he said, <coughs> radiallahu ta'ala an, O oh Allah, you know me better than I know myself. And I know myself better than the people know me. O oh Allah, make me better than what they reckon of me. And do not take me to task with what they say about me. And forgive me with your mercy for what they do not know. Ibn Hazm related or said, Whoever is trialed with being amazed of his own self, then he should think about his faults. If he is amazed by his virtues, then he should check his disgraceful and vile manners. If his faults are hidden from him generally, so much so that he thinks he has no faults, 
then let him know that his problem is until eternity. And he is the foremost of the people in his deficiencies, and the greatest of them in faults, and the weakest of them in determining his faults. The first of that is, he is weak-minded, he is a weak-minded ignoramus, and there is no fault more severe than these two, because the intelligent one is he who can determine faults by himself. And he overcomes them and he tries to correct them. A stupid person is ignorant about his own faults, either due to having little knowledge and his lack of understanding and determining and his weak thought or because he regards his faults as noble characteristics. A man said to Maimun ibn Mahran, O Abu Ayyub, the people will continue to have goodness as long as Allah keeps you with them. Maimun said, go about your business. The people will continue to have goodness as long as they fear their Lord. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from any and all forms of shirk and riya. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from hizbiyah, from calling to ourselves and believing that we are a rectification for the people. And may Allah help us to rectify ourselves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the brother who compiled this. Abbas Abu Yahya. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.